Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for coming, you know, coming towards my way, being able to help help me learn from you as I, you learn from me, being able to adapt and embrace things that we weren't comfortable with embracing before, being able to see things that we, where we truly need to see. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if this is, uh, if you're comfortable enough, that's what I'm going to say. If you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards positive direction. And if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really trying times right now that needs... Uh, that needs uh, confirmation and validation. I'm sorry, I got stuck. Confirmation and validation. Just please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support that you're giving me. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the videos. And today, I love, I love, 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 love um, this this one. I think I've done this before, but I like this meditation boost boost your aura attract positive energy meditation music seven chakra balancing and healing and i will post that link in the description box below and uh, in my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas remember anything that enters your life negative is a distraction you already know you are on a journey of self-discovery learning all new different things about yourself you know being intrigued you know I, like me it's like i get fab what is that that word flabbergasted yeah i think that's what it is <laughs> flabbergasted when i find out all these new things it's like i could be meditating or universal had me looking up something because they always tell me expand expand your knowledge you know research do you know learn educate yourself you're going back to school so it's just like i i'm learning all these different things about myself and you know they're sending me messages and everything towards myself so that that is a positive thing in our lives but you know when you're starting to manifest a lot of things in your life and you're heading towards your best life there will be some distractions that will come in and shake you up a little bit, bring you off course. And I know you know what I'm talking about. It's like you you can be in a good mood. It's just like with me. I can be on here and just be, I, it was like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be happy about, you know, getting over a thousand right now. That's like a big accomplishment for me. You know, and it might not seem much to anybody else, but, you know, that's a comp accomplishment for me because it's just like, yeah, it took me over a year two years actually because this is my second year but it's just like with my content that i'm having that's a blessing because it's like i'm not doing any challenges not doing any reactions not doing animated not doing gaming or anything like that or gossiping you know doing the gossip blogs with the celebrities and stuff i'm not doing that so it's a beautiful thing to me so it's just like when i have people on here like just yesterday on my uh, evolutionary empath video I got a thumbs down and I'm like that was a tight ass video who would thumbs down that you know because I can see if I did it sloppy or anything like that but it's like when I write stuff down it's because I want to make sure I'm telling y'all exactly what's going on because I don't want to be having a backpack and say no I didn't say that you know if I'm getting the information I want to be able to go from the website and write down all these interesting things that they're you know highlighting for me to be able to tell you to make sure I'm on my game you know make sure I'm correct because it's like if I want to tell you something I don't want to be not in, like uh, I really don't know or anything like that but you have people come at you when they see that you're doing good, they see that you're expanding yourself. I'm getting a lot of subscribers. You know, YouTube will start taking folks off of there. It's like the more I upload, there'll be like one or two going. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm not even about to deal with that. Or, you know, they'll take my watch time down. You know, I lost one view today. I'm just like, how are you going to go backwards and take a view off? I'm like, are you freaking serious? You know, I said, whatever. That's in the distracted 
distraction. I was up sitting up here, you know, uh, watching a few clips or something like that, you know, supporting somebody else's channel, you know, giving them some uh, love, sending them that way. Then somebody calls me that I'm just like, is the gossip queen and, you know, be, you know, giving you the side eye when you're not paying attention, you know, one of them, oh yeah, you know, I'm so happy for you. No, those type of people. I'm like, uh-uh, ain't about to answer the phone. I'll stay to myself. You know, if I can't have somebody in my life that's positive, I don't need to stay with you. You know, I have friends that are on their mission as well. We don't talk right now or anything like that. That's fine. You know, that's fine with me because we're all on a mission. There are certain times we have to cut ourselves off from society and be able to grow and elevate ourselves to where we truly need to be, you know, get ourselves out of the dark place. That's understandable because I've had to do that before. You know, was, you've been with me for a while. You know, right before Christmas, I took off for a whole month. You know, it was like the last time you saw me, I had rashes up and down my legs, breaking out, losing weight, all that stuff. It was just, I was going, I was a hot mess. So I understand that. But when you're bettering yourself and you know you're going towards things that, you know, you don't even know what you're going, you're taking that leap out of faith. You're, you're searching for the unknown. You're learning the unknown, you know, because that's what universe is, you know, guiding you towards, you know, and it's scary to be going on this journey. I mean, I really feel blessed to be able to do the things I do. You know, there's people been, you know, asking me, you know, Rosalyn, why do you do it with all these people? I feel uncomfortable. I don't, you know, number one, I'm in front of my own computer. You know, I can see if I was on TV, knowing millions of people are watching me. Now that can be nervous, but I'm in front of my own, you know, I'm in my own comfort of my own home in front of my laptop. That's fine. You know, I said, if now if it goes to another level like that, hey, I'll prepare myself for it when it gets there but it's just like when you know you're heading towards things you know something's about to shift once people are out of your past you know you you, you might deal with an ex-girlfriend you know an ex-girlfriend come calling you that you know it's not about good things <laughs> you know you probably argue with her fuss and fight with her or you got an ex-boyfriend that's just straight negative toxic narcissistic whatever you know or they'll message you message you on social media you know, I've been getting those too. I just erase it. Or if I just get this urge where, you know, I feel like somebody's trying to holler, I'm not even about to answer. I don't, I don't even want to engage in stuff like that. I don't even want to have that conversation. Only time I will have that conversation if I'm face to face. And either then I'm like, uh, I got to go now. I got things to do. I'm sorry. You know, just, just to be out of that. Because if I'm getting that vibe about you, it's not even about to work. I'm not about to deal with you in that way. Especially on the internet. There's too many, you know, crazy things that happen on the internet. You don't even know who you're talking to, you know. So it's just like anything that comes into your life and you know you're heading towards your dreams. You know you got things that you truly want to do to better yourself, you know, to make a career for yourself. Not just having a job, you know. Nobody don't really want to have a job. You're dealing with it because you have, to, you know, you have bills to pay. There's a lot of times, you know, I did that. Just been in the job I really didn't care for, but it paid my bills. And I was miserable as I don't know what. And then next thing you know, I started losing jobs. You know, my kids were like, Mom, how do you lose jobs all the time? I said, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Because it was like I would end up clashing with somebody. It would be like a good two months. Or even the two weeks, it just depends how, how how much negativity is in that space. And the next thing you know, I'm getting written up, or I'm about to choke somebody, or I'm about to beat somebody up. One of the two, you know. So it's just like, I'm glad for the things that I'm doing. You know, I had to be able to have tough skin. And, you know, it's just like I have a few love bugs that said that they want to be able to do the same thing. I don't discourage nobody. I'm like, if anytime you need need to ask me anything, please let me know. But I say also prepare. You know, I let them know the do's and the don'ts, you know, in case, you know, they didn't look up on it or whatever. I said, but you got to prepare yourself for doing the things you're doing. If you're doing like things I'm doing, prepare. You're going to have good people coming at you. But then you're going to have them negative a-holes coming at you too, talking stupid and saying little negative things and stuff like that. And it can really work your nerves because it's like, dang, I'm trying to do a good thing here. But this negative stuff keeps coming at me because you're trying to be tested. And it's just like, I, I forgot what number, because I'm a numbers girl. I always look up numbers, like if it's a pattern, like 7474 or 7676 or, you know, 1313 or 11144, you know, stuff like that. I always look up the stuff I'm going through. And it's just like, it was one that really stuck out to me. And I cried tears of joy because it was like the angels that said, you used to, it didn't take much for somebody to poke at you and you'll start snapping or you'll start going off. You, it's like my, I had a short patience for people. 
now it's at that point oh bless you that's a good luck when I know I hear my um, my cat sneezing. That's the second time she done sneezed today. But uh, when you're going through things and you know some, you know you're being tested just to see how you're gonna react to certain things, and it's just like I'll have people poke and probe. I even had people cussing me. I said, "Look, you are not about to bring me out my character. If you ain't got nothing kind to say, or you trying to waste my time, well, you know, bring my energy down. We might as well don't even talk. Now you can come at me correct, or we ain't gotta come at all." You know, and leave it at that. You know, and it was just like, they're looking at me like, is this the old Rob? Because old Robin would have clapped back so quick. I ain't got time to you. Everything except the child of God and God and the name your mama gave you. Now I'm just like, I don't have time to engage in stuff like that. I don't have time to engage into it. Like, if I know there's somebody narcissistic, I'm like, hey, hey, I, I'm, I'm not about to do this with you today. I'm not about to do this with you today. Are you done? Are you done? Okay. Because especially if you're dealing with a narcissist, and they will poke and probe with you, especially if they see you're in a good mood. They like to bring your your, your levels down. They want to bring your energy down. When you let them know that you're not going to be shook like that, and you don't have time, that'll piss them off in a, with a quickness. And you're going about your business. I start singing. The most joyous song to let you know you ain't going to move me. You're going to take a lot of mountains and suns to move me. You're not about to move me. And that's the worst thing you want to do to a narcissist. I ain't got time. I don't have time so it's just like when you're you're going on your journey you know you're you're discovering yourself all over again to these big and beautiful things that is foreign it's scary because it's unknown because you don't know where it's gonna take you just know anything that is not serving you positively don't invest your energy and stuff like that. I remember I had to, I always got to be the one that has to last, has to have the last word. I trust me, I know. I'm like, shoot. They were like, okay then, okay then. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Now I'm just like, boo bye. I ain't got time. Y'all see, you go on with your life. You know, I've even got an argument over the internet about stuff that we, you know, the person was arguing with me, and I was arguing with them, and we don't even know these daggone people. Don't even get, they ain't even, they ain't even gonna know we even had our opinions about the situations they were in. I'm like, why am I engaging in this stupid stuff with you? You don't know these people. I'm like, don't come for me if I ain't call for you. Please don't. Because this is my opinion. You know, you can't get mad at me about my opinion because it's not gonna change just because you got up to be about it. That's like, do you know her? Do you know him? Okay then, so what we arguing about for? Okay, you got your opinion, I got mine. Leave it at that. You know, they still want to do it. I had to mute it. I had to make sure I muted it and say, hey, whoever that person was that was, you know, trying to tag me, you know, on one of the YouTube videos, I had to mute and block them just because I wasn't going to go back and forth with that. But it's just like, you got to know, if you're that person don't, is short on patience, don't engage. If you know this person is, is coming back to your life and you know they didn't mean no good to you, leave it alone. <laughs> just leave it alone even if they call you they come to the door god forbid i mean god rest my, my daddy's soul but for me to say jehovah witness they come knocking on your door the mormons or whatever and you know you don't feel like talking to nobody like how do you feel about the lord jesus christ and all that stuff you know they used to do that and i said nobody disrespects so don't come at me crazy because i ain't got time but i'm just saying using that as an example there's time my mom like girl don't you answer that dag on door i don't feel like being bothered with them you know, my dad's Jehovah Witness, so I mean, I'm like, no disrespect, but I'm just saying. You know, if he was to knock on my door, I'm like, well, come on in. You know, I'm like, oh, Jesus, okay. But if it was anybody else, I'm like, no. But it's just the whole point. If you know, if it's not going to bring you any, it's not going to elevate your energy, don't invest your time in it. Don't, because you got better things to do. If you're that person, you already know how you are, don't go for it. Don't, don't even let them know. Mm-mm. Keep doing you. Keep shining and keep going because you know the devil is going to sit up here and throw a monkey wrench in there and the universe is going to test you to make sure you ain't going to go route like you used to. And they'll be knowing, hey, that person's changed. Oh my God, you know what? They're elevating. Now they're getting what we're talking about. So you already know because when you do stuff like that, that means you get rewarded for stuff like that. So you keep doing you. Keep shining. Um, I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Treasure Seasons, uh, Aisha Brooks, and Julie Carey. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. 
let me know your input on this video i would love to hear your side and share give me a thumbs up and i'll see you on my next video and hit the bell subscribe and do all that much love peace be wild